Hey guys, what is up? It is Cameron and today I'm going to show you guys how to properly gap some spark plugs. If you guys are new viewers out there, be sure to subscribe, smash that like button, and comment down below what you guys want to see in future videos. Without further ado, let's get right into today's video. So if you guys want to save $15 to $20 every time you guys do your spark plugs, it's pretty easy. Just buy some ungapped spark plugs and gap them yourselves. And gapping them could never be easier once you get one of these little gapping tools. This spark plug right here is already gapped, so I'm just gonna give you guys the gist of what to do, and you guys will be able to save 15 to $20 on your own as well. So first you're gonna take your uh, ungapped spark plug, you're gonna locate where the nipple is, which is right under this little rotor here, and the distance between the rotor and the nipple is what's called spark gap, or gap. You're going to get your spark plug tool. You're going to go to the lowest point specified on it, which in this case is 0 0.020 inches. And you're going to work it around to the applicable gap height as detailed by your manufacturer, which in my case is 0 0.054 inches, 0 0.054 inches. And once you do that, you guys will effectively get your spark plug gap. So this goes pretty much into there. So that is how you gap spark plugs. It's super easy, super quick, and it takes about a minute and a half per spark plug or 15 to 20 minutes per set, depending on what kind of engine you guys have. You guys can save $3 per spark plug, which is phenomenal. And I mean, that's just an extra $3 in your pocket you can put towards your spark plug wires. <laughs> I will see you guys in the next video. If you guys are new viewers out there, be sure to subscribe, smash that like button. And yeah, I hope you guys have a good day slash night wherever you may find yourselves. Peace.